Hello and welcome. Today I thought I would show you how to tame one of the creatures in the Ark Editions mod. Today's creature I want to go over is the Acrocanthosaurus. So before we head out, let's do a gear check. First thing we're going to want to use is five metal gateways to build a trap. You can also use uh, stone gateways. We're going to lay these down in the shape of a pentagon and in the middle we're going to put a large bear trap. You will also need a weapon, preferably the pump action shotgun. The wiki page for the Acrocanthosaurus says you can use the fabricated sniper rifle. However, in my experience, that weapon does not work well at all. I end up killing the Acro before I can tame it. So, I like the shotgun. Also make sure you bring enough ammo. We have 96 shells here, so that should be good enough. You also need a narcotic to feed it. I prefer biotoxin because it's going to raise the torpor more than narcotic, but you can also use narcotic if you have it. What we're going to be feeding the acro once it's knocked out is the exceptional kibble, since this will provide the highest taming effectiveness and give us the shortest amount of taming time. In addition to the items used, I want to go over the two mods that I'm going to be using to assist me in finding a high level acro and in the taming process as well. So the first one is called Awesome Spyglass. So what this does is it will highlight nearby creatures and will give us a little information window letting us know their stats, their taming percentage, torpor level, stuff like that. It's going to be really handy when it comes to taming the acro. Um, it kind of does the same thing that the magnifying glass does, just you don't have to get super close to the creature, which you're not going to want to do with the acro because it will wreck you. The second mod is called Creature Finder Deluxe. And what this does is it adds a creature finding search engine into the game. So we're going to find the acro right here. Click search. And as you can see here, we have the Acrocanthosaurus. And there are also alternate versions, one of them being the Scorched Acro. This one is found only in desert regions. And as far as I know, the only difference between the two is cosmetic. And I like the scorched version because it has some feathers and the color pattern just looks pretty cool. So we're going to be going after one of these guys down here in the desert on Ragnarok. So now that we know where we're heading to find an acro, um, we're going to head down there on a wyvern. I'm using the wyvern because the desert regions are pretty dangerous and full of nasty creatures. So the wyvern will help me clear the area to condition it for the acro tame. I'm also wearing my desert outfit uh, to help stave off the heat, so I'll head on down there and bring you back when we're ready to get started. Alright, so I'm going to go after this 145 male over here. So before I start, I need to condition the area. The scorched acros are almost always in pairs, so you're gonna have to take care of the other one I kinda wanna lure it over here because there's less creatures if you notice that dino that's jumping in and out of the sand that's another modded creature from this mod called concapenator um, I plan on doing a video on that eventually too so let's try and set up our trap over here Okay, maybe not. There are more concavenators over there, so maybe over here. So I want to find a spot that's relatively flat because that is going to be important later. But I also want to avoid the other creatures out here, which the Ragnarok Desert, the creatures on out here just seem to respawn super fast. So what we want to do is build our trap in the rough shape of a pentagon. 
with some gaps in between each gate. And that's going to kind of provide a spot for the acro to get stuck in. So now that that's down, we'll go drop our trap right in the middle. Wait for it to set. And then we'll see if we can lure him over here. Okay, there it goes. So as you can see, we've got Arthropleura and stuff running around out here, so we want to keep them away. We're going to kite him into the trap, hopefully. perfect he went right in so now we go around the back drop the last trap and he's in okay so like most of the other creatures on this mod there is a unique way that you go about taming them so what you're gonna do is you're gonna shoot at it until it goes into its shield stance, it'll turn sideways at you. And then it will take reduced damage while it's in that stance. You keep shooting it, and then it will roar out of anger. When it roars, you got to run up to its mouth and drop biotoxin in. So that's why we got... That's why we got biotoxin in our hotkey. Alright, let's see if we can get this done. So... Got him aggro to us. There's his shield stance. Roar. Like that. And as you noticed, he actually got his health back when we fed him. The biotoxin. That is how you keep them alive while you're doing this taming. As you can see, you get a little prompt when you get near the right spot to drop the biotoxin. Three seems to be the magic number. Right there, you can see the little prompt. And he actually seems to be stuck right now in the trap, which is what we wanted. So, this way we don't have to worry about it moving around on us. I usually jump to kind of reach the mouth. Yeah, you kind of have to jump to get in there. And that's kind of why you want them on a flat surface. Because if they're on a slope, their head will either disappear if they're facing uphill, or it will be too high for you to reach if they're facing downhill. And this is all you do, you just keep repeating this process. should need maybe one or two more. Okay, it's going to be the last one. Okay. 
And he is down. So they also do have an enraged mode um, where they will turn red. Drop that in there. They'll turn red and then they will do like a triple stomp and they will move faster and deal more damage. And I believe while they're in that uh, state, you cannot feed them. I don't even think they'll go into the shield stance when they're enraged. So thankfully it didn't go into that. I, I believe it's similar to the Giga where they have to get a certain amount of damage dealt before they'll go into it. Um, but thankfully this one didn't. So a couple of important points to go over. The trap is almost a necessity for this. I've been able to tame, I think, two of them without a trap, but it, it's very difficult because they're just moving around. And if they become enraged and they're not trapped, you're going to die. <laughs> it's that simple. You're going to die because they deal a lot of damage. They move fast and yeah, it's a bad day. Um, the other thing is you just kind of want to keep up with the shooting them, putting them in a shield stance, making them roar and feeding them the biotoxin because that's going to replenish their health. As you can see, they don't have a ton of health and a weapon like the shotgun can kill them pretty quick and the fab sniper rifle can as well. So. Um, as long as you're consistently feeding them, raising their torpor, and giving them back their health, you don't have to worry about them getting killed. So here we are, about ready to tame up this acro. Um, these guys can damage metal structures. So as you can see, these did take some damage, uh, but it's pretty much guaranteed that they're not going to be able to break through it before you get them knocked out. Uh, like I said earlier, you can even use stone. I've used stone before and it was totally fine. Also, their torpor drops fairly slow, so you shouldn't have to feed them any narcotic while they're unconscious. But other than that, everything went really smooth. Sometimes these go smooth and sometimes they don't. Sometimes they will just go enraged or I've had it where they don't actually go into the shield stance I'm not gonna name you but this one went pretty smooth if you're trying to tame one and it's not going into the shield stance and you're just dealing a ton of damage to it uh, you might want to like back off because you can end up killing it before you knock it out so anyway I'm gonna cryopod it, take it back to base, throw a saddle on it, and then we'll take it for a spin so you can see what this guy can do. Alright, so we're going to craft up a saddle for our new acro. You can unlock the saddle at level 76 with 43 engram points, and then just craft it right in your inventory. So here's our new acro and we got the saddle on and we'll take it out to see what it can do so the left click gives you a bite just like most other creatures and the right click will put you in its shield stance the rider kind of sits on the side so that they are protected when it's in its shield stance it'll move slower in this stance but also take reduced damage and if you left click while you're in the stance, it'll do a shoulder charge. And then right clicking again will take it out of the shield stance. So. Another attack it can do is with the letter C on the keyboard is the stomp it 
They move decently quick too. Uh, they're quite similar to a T-Rex, just they're a little bit quicker, but not quite as uh, tanky. So. Kind of a cross between an Allosaur and a T-Rex. Shoulder charge, does some knockback. Give him another stomp. So, to enter the enraged mode for the acro, you gotta be in the shield stance and take damage in that stance. On the right there, you can see that heart icon filling up. So we're just going to sit here and take take a pounding. And then we're going to give this Therizino its just desserts. Have a stomp, and another, and another. Now there is a timer for this. If you look up there on the right, you can see the timer. And it moves a lot faster. Attacks faster, gets stuck on rocks faster. But it is definitely awesome. So finally it does have a roar. With control. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Acrocanthosaurus. Really, really awesome creature from the Arc Editions mod. If you don't have this mod and you're on PC, definitely go out and get it. Hopefully, after seeing this video, you can go out and tame your own acro. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time.